At this time, ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. The anthem this evening is being played by the Washington High School Pampack Marching Band under the direction of band director Abigail Shuford and joining the band tonight are members of the alumni band dating back decades. Washington High School's athletics would like to thank Potash Corporation, our Wagner Stadium sponsor. Thank you, Potash Corporation. This year, 22, Brandon Jackson, number 24, Lexroy Brown, number 50, Neil Jennings, and number 63, Connor Sawyer. They've met with the officials at midfield for the coin toss, and Farmville Central has won the opening toss, and the Jaguars have chosen to defer 
to the second half. That means, ladies and gentlemen, the Jaguars will be kicking off this evening to start off the game, and the Jaguars will be defending the Northwest goal. The Pam Pack will receive the opening kickoff, and they will defend the Southeast goal. Get on your feet, fans. It's time for Pam Pack football. The officials for this evening's game are from the East Carolina Football Officials Association. The referee is Milas Kelly. The umpire is Steve Keen. The linesman is Wallace Ford. The line judge is Stanley Adams. And the back judge is Cletus Smith. are deep to receive for the Pampack. For Farmville Central, number 50, Brett Nicholson will be kicking off. Clinton Pope on the return for the Pampack. He's brought down by number 10, Ben Sasser of Farmville Central. Officials are spotting the ball at the 32 yard line. First and 10, Pampack. seven, Shawan Staten on the carry. Loss of a yard on the play, Ben Sasser on defense for Farmville Central. Second down and 11, the ball at the 31. the pass to number 12. That's Matthew Black. Gain of 20 yards on the play. 
Spot the ball at the Farmville Central 49 yard line. First down, Washington. Number five, Sway Poe on the carry for the Tampac. Credit the tackle to number five of the Farmville Central. Seventeen yard gain on the play. First down, Washington. for the Pampac, 32 yards from scrimmage for the Pampac touchdown. <laughs> Number two, Ben McKeithen adds the PAT. Sean Baker are deep for Farmville Central. <laughs> Number 11, Kayshawn Baker on the return tackled out of bounds by number five, Sway Poe. Flags on the plate. The penalty marker has been waved off. Spot the ball at the Jaguar 14 yard line. First and 10 for Farmville Central. Pass attempt sales out of bounds and incomplete. Intended for number 11 of Farmville Central, Kayshawn Baker. Second down and 10 yards to go. The ball at the 14 yard line. T.J. Willoughby on the carry for the Jaguars. Gain of six on the play. Ball spotted at the 20-yard line. Third down and four.
number 11, Kayshawn Baker, on the carry, crosses the 25, out close to the 30-yard line. Spotted right at the 30, gain of 10 yards on the play for the Jaguars. That is first and 10, Farmville Central, at their own 30. Quarterback Shaft Parker's pass is incomplete, intended for number two, T.J. Willoughby. Second down and ten. Parker's pass once again intended for number two, T.J. Willoughby, is incomplete. Pressure being applied by the Pam Pack defense in the backfield. Number 41, Austin O'Neill with the hurry. Third down and ten. Parker's pass is incomplete. Intended for Kayshawn Baker, number 11. Number 41, Austin O'Neill. Again, applying the pressure on the quarterback in the backfield. Fourth down and 10 for the Jaguars. Brett Nicholson will punt. recovers at their own 40-yard line. A 30-yard punt and no return. And the Pan Pack takes over first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Number seven for the Panback, that's Shawan Staten rushing. Gains five yards on the play to the 44-yard line. Credit Farmville Central's number one on the tackle. Second down and five, the ball at the 44. Clinton Pope on the carry. Gain of 14 yards on the play. Spot the ball at the Jaguar 42 yard line. First down, Washington. Team, Trip Barfield 
completes the pass to number 88. That's Drew Ferguson. Gain of 15 yards on the play. Ball spotted at the Jaguar 27-yard line. First down, Washington. Seven yards from scrimmage for the Pampac touchdown. Ben McKeitha, number two, in for the PAT. The kick is good. 14 to nothing. On your feet, fans, put your hands together. T.J. Willoughby and number 11, Kayshawn Baker, are deep for Farmville Central. Number one for Farmville Central returns the Kyle Hodges kickoff. Hassan Cradle and number 28 Nazir Hardy on defense for the Big Blue. Return is out to the Jaguar 48 yard line. First and 10 Farmville. short three, the ball just inside the 45 yard line. Brandon Jackson made the stop for the pack. Penalty markers on the play. Offsides is the call against the Pan Pack. Five yard penalty, moves the ball inside the 40 that gives Farmville Central first and ten. <laughs> Penalty flags on the play. The Pam Pack is once again flagged for offsides. Five yard penalty, makes it first down, five yards to go. The ball at the 34. Penalty flags on the play. Prior 
catch of the snap. Illegal procedure, false start, the call against Barnwell Central. Move the ball back to the 39-yard line. It remains first down and 10. Sean Baker, the ball carrier for the Jaguars. He's forced out of bounds by number 21, Quayshawn Gaynor of the Pam Pack. Gain of a yard on the play. Spot the ball at the 38 yard line, second down and nine. Shaft Parker is sacked. Number nine, Jarquez Keys. Made the big defensive play for the Pan Pack. Loss of nine on the play. Third down and 17. to Kayshawn Baker, number 11. From quarterback Shaft Parker. Nazir Hardy trips him up at the 40-yard line. Gain of seven on the play. Fourth down and 10. Pass sails out of bounds and incomplete, and the ball goes over on downs. First and ten for the Pam Pack. Number one, Clinton Pope breaks through the line for the Pam Pack. 24 yards on the play. Number one makes the tackle for Farmville Central. Ball now spotted at the Jaguar 36-yard line where it's a first down. Pam Pack. Shawan Staten rushing for the Pam Pack. Tackle by number 50, Brett Nicholson of the Jaguars. Loss of two. Back to the 38-yard line, second down and 12.
Trent Brownfield's pass is incomplete. Intended for number 12, Matthew Black. Daquan Knight, number three, on the defensive coverage for Farmville Central. Brings up third down. Clinton Pope gets the handoff from quarterback Trip Barfield. He crosses the 35 down to the 33-yard line, a gain of five on the play. Number 66, Jaquez Norman on defense for Farmville Central. Fourth down and a long six now coming for the Pampack. snap for the Big Blue. It's picked up by Jarquez Keys. He advances the ball down to the 31-yard line. Gains two yards on the play. Number one makes the tackle for Farmville Central. And the ball will go over on downs. Farmville Central will have it first and ten at their own 31-yard line. Sean Baker runs for the Jaguars, rounds the left, the right end, crosses midfield into Pampak territory at the 49-yard line. Gain of 20 on the play, first and 10 Jaguars. Hassan Cradle made the defensive stop for the Pampak. Daquan Knight, correction, T.J. Willoughby, the ball carrier, gains eight yards on the play to the Pack 41-yard line. Second down and eight. Correction, second down and two for Farmville Central. Willoughby again on the carry for the Jaguars. Number one correction on the carry for the Jaguars. Loses a yard on the play back to the 42-yard line. And now the Jaguars face third down and three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the first quarter. The Pam Pack leads it 14 to nothing after 12 minutes of play. Please congratulate the Pam Pack girls tennis team on their conference wins this week. They beat North Pitt in a doubleheader 8 to 1 and 5 to 1 on Wednesday and they beat North Johnston yesterday 8 to 1. Let's hear it for the Lady Pam Pack tennis teams.
Ladies and gentlemen, Washington High School is proud to welcome Potash Corporation as our new stadium sponsor. Thank you to Potash Corporation for your sponsorship of games here at Wagner Stadium. The Washington High School cheerleaders would like you to participate in their fundraiser tomorrow at Zaxby's. Come to Zaxby's from 5 to 8 p.m. Correction, that's Monday, October 12th. 10% of all the proceeds go to Washington High School cheerleading. Thank you, Zaxby's, and support the cheerleaders. T.J. Willoughby on the carry. First hit was by the Pampax number 62, Matt Swales. Loss on the play back to the 44-yard line. Fifth down and five. Central calls timeout. That's their first of the first half. They will have two remaining. Fans, the cheerleading fundraiser at Zaxby's will be on Monday, October 12th from 5 to 8. Once again, 10% of all the proceeds support Washington High School cheerleading. When you go through the drive through at Zaxby's on Monday, be sure to mention Washington High School Pampack cheerleading. The Washington High School Playmakers will present their fall play entitled Mama Won't Fly by Jesse Jones, Nicholas Hope, and Jamie Wooten. That's Friday and Saturday, October 16th and 17th at 7 p.m. in the Washington High School Auditorium. Nicholson's putt rolls dead. Flags on the play. The penalty personal foul against Farmville Central. That'll add 15 yards from the spot. Brings it out to the Pampac 29 yard line. First down, Washington. Side handoff goes to number five, Sway Poe. Carries the ball all the way to the Farmville Central 29 yard line. <laughs> 42 yards on the scamper. Spot the ball at the 29. First down, Washington. Clinton Pope, your ball carrier. Tyreek Tyson on defense for the Jaguars. Gain of two on the play. Second down and eight at the 27. Barfield's pass is complete to number 12, Matthew Black. 
Tackled by number 21, Tyreek Tyson. Ball spotted now at the 13-yard line. Number seven, Swayshon Staten on the carry. Barfield's last pass was good for 14 yards. Dyron Walston and TJ Willoughby made the stop for Farmville Central. Loss of a yard back to the 14 yard line. Brings up second down and 11. It's good. 8.45 remaining in the first half. The Pack 21 from the Central Nothing. Baker on the return. Alvin Paul, number 45, on the kickoff for the Pam Pack. Flags on the play. Personal foul. Face mask is the call against the Pam Pack. Fifteen yard penalty. Moves the ball to the midfield stripe where Farmville Central will take over first and ten. T.J. Willoughby, number two, rushes for the Jaguars. Austin O'Neill on the bottom of the pile for the Pam Pack. Gain of two on the rushing play. Second down and eight, the ball at the 48. Sean Baker, number 11. Jarquez Keys in on the tackle. Gain of six on the pass play. Ball at the 42-yard line. Third down and two.
Question pitch goes to number 11, Kayshawn Baker. Forced out of bounds by 21, Kayshawn Gaynor of the Big Blue. The gain is three yards to the Pampac 39. That will be a Farmville Central first down. Seven on the play for the Jaguars. First and ten, Farmville Central. Number two, T.J. Willoughby. On the rush, right up the middle for the Jaguars. Josh Smith, number 55, in on the tackle. Gain of four. Spot the ball at the eight-yard line, second down and six. T.J. Willoughby, again on the carry, pushes up the middle. Credit the tackle to Lex Roy Brown, number 24. Another gain of four yards. Ball now spotted at the pack, four-yard line. Third and two. Washington calls timeout. That's their first of the first half. Fans, don't forget our halftime festivities coming up tonight here at Wagner Stadium. We will be crowning our 2015 homecoming queen. All of our homecoming court and their escorts should make their way at this time to the lineup area. We welcome back all of our alumni who have returned to Washington High School for this evening's game. If you're a PAMPAC alumni, stand up and let us recognize you. PAMPAC alumni, stand up. Let's give them all a big hand. Welcome back, PAMPAC alumni. Dead ball penalty, false start, the call against Bongo Central. Five yard penalty will move the ball back to the nine yard line. seven. Penalty flags on the play. Delay of the game is the call against the Jaguars. Twelve from the 
13 yard line. is sacked. Give the big play to number 24, Lex Roy Brown. Loss is back to the 25-yard line. Loss of 11 on the play. Fourth down and 22 coming. is incomplete, intended for number 11, Kayshawn Baker. Broken up by the Pampax number 21, Kayshawn Gaynor. And the ball goes over on downs. First and ten, Pampak at the 25. Number one, Clinton Pope up the middle. Tackle made by number 50, Brett Nicholson of Farmville Central. No gain on the play. Second down. Number five, Sway Poe on the carry for the Big Blue, crosses the 35 out to the 39-yard line. Gain of 14 on the play. Number three, Daquan Knight on defense for Farmville Central. Spot the ball at the 39-yard line. Washington first down. Clinton Pope spins his way across the 40, out to the 43, mark it at the 44-yard line, gain of five on the play, second down and five, number 60, Elijah Dryden on defense for the Jaguars. Trip Barfield's pass intended for number 12, Matthew Black, is batted down and incomplete. T.J. Willoughby, number two, broke the pass play up for the Jaguars. Third down and five. Correction, the handoff is to Sway Poe. Gain of two on the play to the 46-yard line. Brett Nicholson was there for Farmville Central. Brings up fourth down and about four yards to go. Ben McKeithen is back in punt formation. And 
and the Pam Pack calls timeout. That's their second. They have one remaining. dead at the 30 yard line 24 yards on the punt no return and the Jaguars will take over first down and 10 fans don't forget the playmakers will present their fall play mama won't fly that's Friday and Saturday nights October 16th and 17th at 7 p.m., tickets are just $5 and can be purchased at the door next weekend right here at Washington High School. Support the Playmakers. <laughs> Quarterback Shaft Parker's pass incomplete. Intended for number 11, Kayshawn Baker. Brings up second down and 10 for the Jaguars. Incomplete pass to number 11, Kayshawn Baker. Third down and 10. the middle. Credit the tackle to Lex Roy Brown. The Pam Pack will use their last timeout. Stops the clock with 58 seconds to go until halftime. Gain of a yard on the play to the 31 yard line. It'll be fourth and nine coming for the Jaguars. uses their second timeout.
Washington High School's athletic department would like to thank all the members of the Washington Athletic Club Donor Board for 2015 and 16. Thank you for your support of Pampac Athletics. You are the team behind the pack. Fourth and nine. Nicholson's punt is returned by number 12, Matthew Black. He stopped at the 31-yard line. 38 yards on the punt and no return. The Pack will take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Jay Johnson made the tackle for Farmville Central. on the carry tackle made by number 50 Brett Nicholson gain of seven on the play second down and three the ball at the 38 Chris Keys up the middle for the Pam Pack crosses the 45 out to the 49 yard line a gain of 11 on the play he's tripped up by number 21 Tyreek Tyson first and 10 for the Pam Pack and that'll be the last play of the first half your halftime score ladies and gentlemen the Pack 21 Fumble Central nothing on the return for the Jaguars. Quayshawn Gaynor, number 21, made the first hit for the Pam Pack back at the 28-yard line. And the Jaguars take over first and 10. Jay Willoughby, the ball carrier, 
crosses the 30 out to the 33. That's a five yard gain for the Jaguars. Second down and five. Fumble in the backfield. It's recovered by number eight, quarterback Shaft Parker of the Jaguars. Loss of three yards on the play. Back at the Jaguar 30. Third down and eight. Sean Baker on the carry. Brandon Jackson, number 22, was there for the pack to make the tackle for loss. Loss of about a half yard on the play. Fourth down for the Jaguars. Number 12, Matthew Black on the return. Brought down at the 43 yard line. Jay Johnson of the Jaguars, number 25, made the stop. First and 10 for the Big Blue at their own 43. Jarquez Keys powers his way across the 45 out to the 49 yard line, gains six on the rushing play. Brett Nicholson along with number 66 Jaquez Norman made the defensive play second down and four. Jacques Keys crosses midfield. Finally brought down at the Jaguar 39 yard line. A gain of 12 on the play. TJ Willoughby made the stop. Spot the ball at the Jaguar 39, where it's a first down. Ham pack. John Chris Keys again on the carry. Gains five yards on the play. Down to the Jaguar 34. Second and five. Ben Sasser, number 10. Wraps him up for the Jaguars. Carry. That's Clinton Pope. Flags on the play. TJ Willoughby and Tyreek Tyson made the defensive play for the Jaguars.
Penalty flag in his face mask against Farmville Central. And that'll add yardage to the end of the run. It'll be half the distance. Spots the ball inside the 10-yard line. First and goal to go for the Pan Pack. Touchdown Pan Pack. Number one, Clinton Pope. Carries the ball into the end zone, nine yards from scrimmage. Alvin Paul on the PA attempt and it's no good. 27 to nothing your score. number 34, Logan Little. The officials will spot the ball at the 27-yard line. First and 10 for the Jaguars. carry for the Jaguars. Gain seven on the play to the 34. is for the Jaguars. Lexroy Brown, number 24, stops him for no gain at the 34-yard line. Third down and three. Sean Baker, the ball carrier, runs right and then turns it upfield. 
finally brought down at the 47 yard line, a gain of 13 yards on the play. Austin O'Neill, along with Quayshawn Gaynor, made the defensive play. First and 10, Farmville Central at their own 47. Willoughby, number two on the carry. Gains three on the play to the 50-yard line. Austin O'Neill on defense. Second down and seven. Central's number one shakes off some tacklers. Rushes for a gain of seven yards. Correction, eight yard gain on the play to the Pam Pack 42. Number 81 for the Pam Pack, Cooper Anderson on defense. First and ten, Farmville Central. Sean Baker, number 11, rushes for the Jaguars, gains two yards on the play. Nazir Hardy, number 28, on defense for the Big Blue, gain of two, second down and eight from the 40. Number 88, Lester Holmes, the ball carrier, running it on the reverse. Gains six yards on that rushing play down to the Pampak 34. Brings up third down and two. Logan Little in on the stop. Third down and two. Timeout, Jaguars. Fans, one week from tonight, the Pam Pack will travel to Edgecombe County, where they take on Southwest Edgecombe in a critical Eastern Plains 2A conference matchup. And then two weeks from tonight, that's Friday night, October 23rd. The pack returns here to Wagner Stadium as they'll be hosting the Bruins of Bedingfield. The pack will also play at home here at Wagner Stadium on Friday night, November the 6th, as they close out the regular season with senior night as they host North Johnston. Two more chances to see the Pam Pack here at Wagner Stadium. Number one on the carry and he's met by number 41, that's Austin O'Neill. With the tackle for loss back at the 35 yard line. Loss of a yard on the play. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes fourth and three. Number 11, 
Kayshawn Baker, the ball carrier. Driven out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Gains 15 yards on the play. First and 10 for the Jaguars at the Pampac 20. Kayshawn Baker give that tackle to number 50 Neil Jennings tackle for loss back at the 25 yard line loss of 5 second and 15 Ladies and gentlemen, number 11, Kayshawn Baker for Farmville Central. take over first and 10 at their own 16 yard line after the turnover. Clinton Pope, number one, rushes for the blue. TJ Willoughby on defense. of six, second, and four. Number one, Clinton Pope. Gets the pitch, scrambles left, cuts it back right, crosses the 30-yard line. A gain of 10 on the play. Number one of Farmville makes the stop. 
Ball at the pack, 32, first down, Washington. And that's the end of the third quarter. second down. is the 35 out to the 37 yard line gains five on the play third down and five on the carry picks up three yards at the 40 yard line Brett Nicholson number 50 was there for the Jaguars Pampack facing fourth down and two at their own 40 that brings in number two Ben McKeithen back deep for the Pampack in punt formation TJ Willoughby number two is back to receive Turned by T.J. Willoughby, catches it at the 23-yard line. Thirty-seven yards on that punt, and a return of negative one. First and ten. Gary. Lex Roy Brown led the defensive charge for the band bag. Gain of two, second and eight.
Pass complete to number one. Tackled at the 25-yard line. No gain on the pass play. Austin O'Neill, number 41, was there once again for the Big Blue. Official timeout on the field. Let's give him a hand. Number one for the Jaguars. Chef Parker's pass is complete to number two, TJ Willoughby. Out at the 33-yard line, gain of eight on the play, very close to the first down marker, and it will be a Fondle Central first down. Number 34, Logan Little on the defensive play for the Big Blue. Number 21 carries for the Jags. Crosses the 35. Out to the 38. Picks up five on the play. <laughs> 78 to Aquarius McCullough on the defensive play for the Panback. Second down and five. three on the play to the 41 yard line 56 Raekwon Ross on defense for the Big Blues third down and two Shaft Parker on a quarterback keeper. Stopped at about the 42 yard line. Gain of two. Correction gain of a yard on the play. Going to bring up fourth down and a yard to go. Fourth and one. Tyreek Tyson, number 21, the ball carrier. 
gains close to four yards on the play out to the 46 yard line and that picks up the Jaguar first down pass is incomplete. There is a flag in the Farmville Central backfield. personal foul against the Pam Pack. 15 yard penalty spots the ball at the Pam Pack 39 yard line. That's an automatic first and 10 for the Jaguars. Kayshawn Baker on the carry. Driven out of bounds at the Pamvac 42-yard line. Loss of three on the play. We'll make it a two-yard loss at the 41. For Sean Gaynor on defense, tackle for loss. Parker's pass is intercepted. <laughs> and the Pam Pack will take over first and ten at their own six yard line after the turnover. Boston, the ball carrier, stays on his feet out to the 14-yard line for a gain of eight. Number 10, Ben Sasser, eventually makes the stop second down and two for the Big Blue. Camille Boston, number six, again on the carry, crosses the 15, out to about the 17-yard line for a gain of three on the play. First down, Washington.
Flags on the play. Delay of game is the call against the Pan Pack. That'll be five yards. Back to the 12 yard line. Now playing quarterback for the Pan Pack, number four, Cody Godley. The male Boston on the carry. Gains, gains a yard on the play to the 13. Alvin Grizzard, number 79, on defense for the Jaguars. Second down and 14. Number six, Camille Boston. Again on the carry. Gets the handoff from quarterback Cody Godley. Gain of seven on the play. Out to the 20 yard line. Third down and eight. Uriah Lawrence, number 32, gets the handoff. Gains close to four yards on that play, out to about the 24-yard line. And the Pan Pack facing fourth down and about four to go. Ben McKeithen steps in to punt for the Big Blue. Cody Howell, number six, returns the punt. Ben McKeithen's punt is good for 38 yards. One yard on the return to the 39-yard line. And that's where the Jaguars will take over first and ten. Fans, don't forget, we we'll hope to see you here at Wagner Stadium two weeks from tonight as we host Beddingfield in a conference game and November the 6th right here at Wagner Stadium hosting North Johnston for senior night. The pack travels to Southwest Edgecombe next Friday night. Marvel Central calls timeout. Don't forget Monday night from 5 to 8, this coming Monday, October 12th. Stop by Zaxby's right here in Washington. 10% of all proceeds will go to Washington High School Cheerleading. Be sure to mention WHS Cheerleading when going through the drive through Support the cheerleaders and special thanks to Zaxby's of Washington. In just one week, the Playmakers at Washington High School put on their fall production, $5 at the door, next Friday and Saturday night for the play Mama Won't Fly. Support the Playmakers here at Washington High School. Congratulations to Varsity Soccer and JV Soccer for their wins over North Johnston last night. Congratulations to the Pan Tech JV football team for their victory last night, 7-6 over the Jaguars.
First and 10 for the Jaguars at the pack 49. Marquez Jones, number 80, on the carry for the Jaguars. Gains five yards on the play. Lex Roy Brown made the stop. Second down and five. Jones again on the carry. Raekwon Ross, number 56, makes the tackle. Third down coming for the Jaguars. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of tonight's homecoming football game. Your final score, the Pampac 27, Congo Central nothing. Jack Wars and the Pam Pack, thank you for your attendance and support. Please drive safely. We'll see you here in two weeks.